everyone. I am going to show you how to sand and high polish a polymer clay bead using our jewel tool system. I will be using three of our wheels here. I'll start off with our 400 grit six ply three inch brush followed by our felt wheel with no compound and then finish off with our high polishing jewelers quality buff with no compound. Let me screw this on. Run this at pretty much high to medium speed. And I'm you can see how it's a dull surface and it's a little bumpy and lumpy. But what I want to do, and this is great for if you have like curved areas you need to get into this brush is really great at getting into them but let me show you how nice you can start sanding down and it's really easy turn it around okay and you can see right here, we've kind of dulled it out a little bit more, but it's, it's getting nice and smooth. Now, you can continue with the brushes. Let me tell you this. Um, you can continue with the brushes um, to all the way to the fine color, this one, and then finish with the buff. But sometimes, if the surface is a little lumpy and bumpy, you can kind of smooth that whole area down to give you a much more finished piece with our felt wheel. So I really want to show you techniques on using this. So running this at uh, about a medium high speed. Now if you run it a little higher it'll have a little bit more cutting action and then if you run it slower it's a little bit more of a polishing action. So I'm going to run it, this is full speed, so I bring it down just a little. I still want it to smooth certain areas down. So we're going to smooth the areas down. And with a little rocking uh, motion, you want to make sure you get the surface that you're working on since it's, it's a dome piece. I'm going to be rolling around. And you just want to keep a nice fluid roll. So if you stop in one section, roll. Stop again you know, and roll. If you hop around too much, it's hard to control where you were and where you're not. So, you know, try to keep it a controlled roll, <laughs> if you will. And I'm trying to get that whole corner, pretty much the whole side half of it nice and smooth. And I'm gonna slow it down just a bit. Do you hear that? Slowed it down. And it's going to be a little bit softer now, so it's not so cutting. So it's like kind of like two different uh, grades of sanding all in one. And that see-through action really allows me to control my workpiece, you know, use both of my hands to control everything. And I can see. If I missed a spot, oh, let me go right here. I see that little spot, gotcha. And there you go. So from here, the surface is pretty, pretty smooth. Oh, you can already see this, girls. This is nice. And then if you do have a little bit of a lump and a bump, just work it a little. Look at that. And it smoothed that down. Oh, effortlessly. And it's a gradual smooth uh, grind. So don't think that it's going to take it off you know, in the blink of an eye, uh, you know, a good two millimeters of material. It's very gradual, so you can really take your time and see the transition. So at this stage, do you see how a little shine kind of has already lifted up? Oh, and if you feel it, it's super smooth. Compared to this, it's super smooth. Cindy actually made these for me, Cindy Leeds. And she already does a good job, but so my work was minimal. And again, the felt wheel is the same. You're going to get a different finish at a high speed 
versus a slow. So I like to start at a medium high, and that's about this, and I hold it right up against this area, and I'll be tilting it just like this. You always want to keep it moving, kind of get a nice little zhuzh on it. Oh my heavens. Oh heavens, that's so pretty. So you just want to cover all the areas that you covered earlier on your prior steps. I'm just making sure I got everywhere that I worked on previously. And so right now you already can see the shine. I know you can. I'm going to slow it down now. And you're going to see the wheel get a little bit more fluffier. And the ball is kind of going to go in just a little bit more. Oh, wait, that's a little too small. Let me run it just a little more. There you go. That's good. I kind of wanted to wobble just a little. So now I'm getting into the really, really fine polishing. And this will assure you a nice little fluff. And just a little zhuzh and you're good to go. So I want you to take a look at the quality of this polish. I mean, it truly does look like a glass bead when I'm done with it. Super easy and effortless. And you know what? It's fun. When it's easy and I didn't really have to struggle, it was really, really fun. And you get to see the results quick. That's what I love with working with the Jewel Tool. The results are quite immediate and you can go back to creating more beautiful polymer pieces. So this was all done on the Jewel Tool and you can find this at the bottom website, jeweltool.com. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to answer your concerns and help you out throughout your polymer clay uh, adventure.